we're going to get with Sephiroth when he does drop. That'll be interesting to see. Let's see the nerfs, please. I'm, I'm out here for these Luigi nerfs, man. <laughs> They're never going to happen, but I can dream. <laughs> oh, let's get to it. So you remember how I said the previous match of Lemon Tea versus, uh, you know, Wolf versus Ness is really volatile? Um, it got more volatile just now. I feel like every matchup. Well, like, like, Ness doesn't shield? Oh, he doesn't shield. No. But I feel like every matchup against a Spacey, any Spacey, is at the very least a little bit volatile. Like, you can't be as oh, fast course, as yeah. all of these spaces and as vulnerable uh, to edge gonna... guards. Like, without being that's a little not bit. not gonna stop Roy from crying. Oh, no. He can try all he wants still. <laughs> oh, rising fair grab. Yeah, down that's to a thing. Attack. You missed the dash attack confirm after, though. Yeah. Thus is definitely got to make with the buttons, though, here. Oh! He's, like, really going in here. I guess that's, uh -oh. that's just kind of Roy, though. Nice air dodge. Ooh, that's, really? Mm, that's that wolf cheese. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen that out of a wolf since, like, Dark Blues at Xeno. Holy smokes. Oh, all right, he's got Jairs. Very nice. We do, in fact, have oh. those here. Uh, rolls back to center. Not Ryan trying to deal with Roy in the corner. Sauce is on that. the board. I mean, if you're Lemon Tea, you're like... It's hard to whiff punish Roy uh, excessively. But if he just wants to throw out some of these falling up bears mid-stage... Oh my... What a tech. But he almost died right there. Down smash, uh, not getting it. Like that, that wolf wash didn't spike it, spike him like crazy. Boss is still in it, but he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to win this. Overthrow. Oh, missed his pivot tech, but no, no severe punish here. Okay. Gun. Fat like 18 damage on the board. Up oh. Just kicked him in the kicked him lemon in the teased, chin. Lemon tea, lemon tea. Snake takes the first game. <laughs> and he slowed down the pace as much as he needed to at the end. Once, once a sauce missed his pivot cancel uh, and lost his chance to kill, like lemon tea didn't give him another one. Right here, I thought he was gonna go for a full wolf flash onto the platform and just really like Boop. show reckless abandon. Well, ass. He played it straight. Big boot. Jump from ledge. Oh uh, yeah, we got to see a slow. Got to see a slowdown on that gib right there. Wolf oh, let's see it again. Uh, yes, sir. Slow motion. Ooh. Wait, I don't think this one was a gimp. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, slow motion gimp. Oh, he got gimped. He oh. did in fact get lasered. I'm glad we could see that in slow motion. I want to see Roy's like free fall helplessly in slow motion in 4K. HD 3D. Yeah, I, I would take that. IMAX <laughs> surround sound video. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> it's, it's the Mario. Uh, it's Dragon Quest music. Yeah. I guess we'll just see what happens. Devin's going to jail, boys. Uh, we had it was a good run, guys. What's wrong? It was a what good run. Wait a minute. I feel like I'm missing it's something. It's in DMC hell. Oh. We'll see what happens. Fingers we'll crossed. We'll see what happens. Oh, anyway, onto the match. Buff has brought up the Mario. You know, if Let's I'm see what happens here. if I'm aware, this is the the Philly sauce, the PR to. The PR'd Mario from Philly, so this should be the his his main man. Well, I can think of a very basic reason why I picked him, aside from the fact that's his main right there. Um, as Mario, he has more liberty to approach with fireballs, 
and not have to worry so much about like the laser or reflector coming up since the laser uh, will not clank with the fireballs and even if fireball gets reflected it's not really all that dangerous so he has a much and you know Mario is just like yeah <laughs> Oh boy. Oh Mario boy. is just uh, a much more natural speedster, so he can get in more easily on Wolf. Yeah, it's always been it's been seen across a bunch of master charts that Mario does rather well against all of the spaces. Wolf might be the only one that he hard that he loses to. If not, it's just even. But hard punish Ooh. game, intense edge guarding. Hmm. No way. A hard back air. <laughs> At 85, down throw, dash attack, but no good. Too much rage. Actually put him into tech, a tech situation there. Gets the Yeehaw on the board. He's at a two-stock deficit. It's just like the first game. Let's see if he can overcome it with his main squeeze, Super Mario. Super super cotton candy Mario. Uh, you I know, can't he... believe that of all the costumes they cut, Fire Mario was one of them, but Cotton Candy Mario stays around. I like Cotton Candy Mario. <laughs> it's nice, but... It's not Fire it's Mario. It's Cotton Candy Mario. It isn't Fire Mario, yeah. that is true. Fire Luigi know. is still here. Oh, oh. Yep. But all the Luigi mains just use the same color anyway. The blue one? The blue one, yeah, the inverted one. I don't play Luigi, but when I do, I'm a default man. Anyway. The pro F smash, so I guess crazy. Oh, that's a double grab. No punish, no hard punish though. Ooh. Uh, that could have been an up smash. Yo, <gasps> oh my goodness. Wolf Flash setting up almost for an up tilt. Yeehaw. Oh, he DI'd it. And. Wow. Yeah. Cannot clamp now. That game is a little bit scuffed because of the early SD. It kind of put Lemon Tea at just exactly the place you want to be against Mario. Like you have a lead and you can outrange him. Like easy, easy clap. It's not easy clap, but it puts you in a much uh, better position. Into, I forgot the part where he turned into Roy for that one moment. Shut up. You teleported. All right. What was I about to say? Well, that's actually really important, what you were mentioning, because uh, losing a stock to a volatile character before you were supposed to is really bad in this game. Like, against heavies or characters that hit like a truck like Wolf, if you lose your advantage that easily, like, they just run house all over you. They're gonna press, they're gonna press the advantage because, like, if it succeeds, they just smoke you completely, and if it doesn't succeed, well, they had the advantage to risk anyway, so it doesn't matter. And now like, we're seeing exactly what we saw in game one, but now Sauce isn't pressured to try and do anything too much. Granted, getting caught by Wolf back air at, you know, maybe, maybe like 10% more could potentially kill, but it's still like when you're playing with an even stock, you never feel as rushed. And that's what it really looks like in game two. Sauce felt rushed to try and take stocks and like push for things. I think Sauce can take this set, but he's gonna have to—he's gonna have to uh, keep his wits about himself for these for these upcoming three games. Read up, Because he definitely showed in that game too that this. Wow. Okay, Mario Tornado takes the kill. Down are so good. All of Mario's moves are just like so good. Like we're talking Vodka characters with a lead. Like, 113, this is Mario with Rage against a Fast Faller on Battlefield. Oh, yeah. At, at 30%. A grab could mean he's dead. Alas. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? I knew him well. He tried to edge guard him, and then Wolf Flash said no. It looks like he was going for cape. He was going for cake because Wolf Flash doesn't actually auto snap the ledge. If Mario reads it, he can uh, he can just get you. Then why wasn't he flooding? Because he sent a free fall still. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, he seems to be like. It seems like he's more using flood as a neutral tool. 
Like he's trying to make Lemonty misspace himself. Uh, or just give him what? his own. Uh, give him center stage back. Blood is very interesting when it's used as a neutral tool. Because it doesn't like give you any immediate advantage, but it's just like, ah, I can reposition both of us. There's, it's very there's interesting. A lot to be said in that. And it's not quite the effective gimp tool like uh, Squirtle's water gun is because blood kind of sends you up when it when it works. But it does put you in prime position to get caked. Oh, of course. Uh, like it's it's part of what Mar makes Mario's kit so oh like so good. Yeah, the sour spot is that everything works together with Mario. Like no one. There's a bunch. There's plenty of single moves that are phenomenal, like i.e. back air, up air, neutral air. Like these are fireball. Like these moves are really good on their own. But put them all together on top of all of the moves that are situational and work well together. Suddenly you have a kit that is combo focused, but all around good. Like he's not just all around, all around. Like Pit could be in a lot of senses. He's just like everything he has is above average. I get what you mean. Pit's a jack of all trades. Mario is a queen of all trades. True. <laughs> oh, I liked that empty hop there. He was really baiting uh, Sauce to, to push buttons and caught him out for mashing. No. Actually, I think he was baiting him to continue holding shield because it's Wolf. Now, this is about the when percent where down throw money. Wolf Flash starts working. But he's out of the percent now. Working it out. Do you think he would go for that? I do think so. He's up two games. And he was at 140. I feel like it would be worth so. it. <laughs> but now he's... Like, he lost the game on Battlefield after a storming comeback. Like, on Mario's best stage, not including Yoshi's, because that's banned. <laughs> yeah, like... Ugh. Lemon Tea has got, like, so much in his favor that I could see him going for some, a risky play like that. And now he's got uh, the stage pick advantage for the rest of the set. That poor Flash. these replays. Oh, PS2. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like Jersey. There we go with Game 4. Sounds like Jersey. It sounds like the entire United States of Smash. Yeah, but at the very least, states like, or regions like uh, New York and uh, the... Uh, what is it, the Midwest, California, or, like all of those have stages. It's like they have a wide stage list. New Jersey has six stages, <laughs> two bands. <laughs> Jersey stage list is kind of awful. It's, it's something. <laughs> was that auto an auto, I guess? It was auto parry, yeah. Well, that He's didn't get his full hop, he should have been dead. <laughs> I hate that short hop buffer. It messes up so many combo short combo routes. Yeah, stuff that like is just that's just real, but not even it's not it's even real misinfo. With an yeah. Down down throw. Throw. He caught him DIing in, but down throw just sent too far. <laughs> Speaking of... Yo, that's the Smash 4 special right there. Up smash, up smash, baby. Shield pushback is insane. It's gonna down throw into... Threaten him with the back air. No luck, though. And Sauce immediately put us, puts him on the back seat there. And Man. Lemon Tea, he made a very, very unsafe recovery. Putting himself at risk of being kicked, but it worked out. There's so oh many instances of Sauce. Look at the pressure strength. Finally gets a pretty classic like, just dash away F smash, but D Sauce has put himself in such great positions for these hard punishes, yet just seems to miss time or miss space or 
you know, get screwed over by short hop buffer. It's, he's, he's almost letting Lemon T back in these games in just the same way that Lemon T is fighting his way back. That's a good tech chase read right there. Because the, the platforms are small enough that he can just cover the whole thing with Mario Tornado. Good job. Oh! Nice. At the roll! Interesting. You don't usually see uh, ledge rolls come out very often. Except he did it twice in a row, so never mind. You never expect it twice. Yahoo! says the Mario I man. I Super Mario! Come on, everybody, do the Mario. Oh, wait a minute. That was almost nice. Well, I'm not even nice. It was almost right dead. There. I mean, he's getting himself back into the game here. <gasps> oh. He tried doing the same bait that he did from uh, a set ago. Picks up the kill anyway. Back throw up smash bait, that is. Yes. Wow! What spacing from Sauce. Very nice. He's dead. Yeah, the fireball caught his wolf flash and sent him at just the, just an awful angle. Two up. There was no. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, like look at this. Wait, after this F smash. Fireball. He can't. At the angle that he was at, that steep angle. Like there's no way to hit. Yeah. Whatever. There was no that. way for him to get to the ledge, unless. Yeah. When you do fireball, if you don't go straight up, uh, you lose a lot of height out of it. Because yep. when you go straight up, Wolf, like, keeps his momentum a little bit when it ends, but not in any other angle. Uh, the the cardinal angle, or, yeah, the, the he keeps momentum, but he only, he's still affected by gravity. So unless he's going straight up, like, his momentum sends him, like, it'll be at 45 degrees while still plummeting at Wolf speed. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It can make fire, make fire wolf a not not great. And that was a that was a really quick game four to lead us into game five. Well, here we are with game five then. And let's see what happens. It's, it's a matter of momentum, and Mario is a the, the M doesn't stand for Mario; it stands for momentum. And he can ride with these hits so quickly. Like, this is just about even. Like the percents in this matchup don't really matter. It does also stand for Mario. Yes. Mario is a short boy. Oh, not again. Just okay. made it. Oh, he read. He read. A really deep uh, escape option right there, but it didn't come out. Oh! Okay, he timed it a little better that Wolves time. Wolves get away with that way too often. Like, they ledge jump, the opponent, like, reacts to it late, and then they just get, get a big boot in the back of their head. It's a big foot. It's got, like, size 12s. I know, but it's always that ledge jump. It's like, wow, your defensive option just got a kill. Good job, Wolf. Pretty good character. <laughs> yeah, some pretty good like, character. Like it's uh, even with all the spaces, it's really hard for the spaces to be bad, just because their natural design of being fast, close range, like combo heavy, like mi a reset heavy characters. Like, that's just really hard to make bad. Like in a I mean, in an en in an engine like Smash Ultimate, or like, Falco would have. Smash 4 Falco was still pretty Smash good. Smash 4 Falco would like to have a word with you. Mm. He was pretty He's good. Okay. Oh, okay. it's gonna happen. Spaces don't fit That's in like, all of it. But, oh yeah, yeah. His recovery routes have been pretty creative thus far. Mixing in Flash uh, healthy enough to make it an option on the table, but never, never too much. Yeah, wolves do like to prefer. Uh, wolves do prefer to opt in for a fire wolf when they can manage it, just because that auto snaps. Whereas wolf flash, despite being very powerful and hard to punish, 
uh, can be punished. Yeah, he's getting too many too aggressive with all of his landings. He kept looking to land with something like fair and air or back air, and none of them worked. <laughs> You know, that's just... What's he gonna do? That's just good DI up. Is he gonna go for raw dash attack? That's what he's looking for. The way he's spacing around, it looks like he's waiting for uh, dash attack spacing to come out, but I can't say for sure. There it is. And there you go. You try to punish the dash attack, and then you get up smash. Uh oh. You must keep your pensivity. And good, good set. Man. Congratulations to Sasha. It did it. He really outplayed him at the end. It was so close to ending with like just a Mario combo. I'm surprised he went for up tilt. Was it? Is that right a here? Yeah. A I'm surprised he went for a up tilt there. I think that might have been the uh, 55 frame roll. You no, know, where you can't grab a ledge immediately after getting hit because he air dodged really early after getting hit. And like the situation doesn't come up too often, but. It comes up sometimes. It's just like, ah, I will air dodge to the ledge in the same way that I've always done it. Oh, wait, I just got hit. I can't do that. It's hard to say for sure, though. It could just be that he just missed the ledge. We'll have another look at it if we get to it. Actually, we could count all the frames if you're up for it, Devin. Oh boy, it's time for math. All right, here we go, here we go. No. He's not Devin's up for it. Not up for it. 